when she kicked that curate for that fun lady, um, the nurse actually brought his secretary and kicked him. <laughs> this is one cool and majestic looking bird. I mean, come on, look at those eyelashes. So fancy. But don't judge a book by its cover. Secretary birds are skilled and ruthless killing machines. And just like their looks, the way they hunt is unique. By stomping and kicking their prey to death. <laughs> He's already dead. Why do secretary birds use their legs as weapons against snakes? What other hunting tactics do they use? Why are they called secretary birds? Follow along as we kick up some dust with this bizarre bird. Secretary birds are native to Africa and live in open areas like savannas and grasslands. The tallest birds of prey in the world, these predators stand between 1.3 meters and 2 meters tall and have a wingspan up to 2.1 meters. Despite their massive wings, secretary birds are only one of two birds of prey species that spend the majority of their time hunting on the ground. They only take to the air when it's absolutely necessary, like to reach their nest or to escape danger. And they never miss a workout, walking an estimated 20 to 30 kilometers daily. Hashtag goals. Hashtag rise and grind. Their favorite meal is venomous snakes, like adders and cobras. Yummy. Odd choices, considering the risks. To locate their next meal, they will stamp their feet on the ground to flush out hiding prey. The tactics these birds use to attack snakes are iconic. But why do they use these unconventional methods? Since they often hunt deadly predators, they need to act swiftly to avoid being bitten. It only takes a fraction of a second for a snake to turn and bite, so secretary birds must strike hard and fast. The kicks can deliver the power of five to six times their body weight in a tenth of the time it takes a person to blink. They also come equipped with scales on their lower leg that provide protection against counterattacks. The specialized hunting tactics don't stop there. They'll raise their head crest feathers and spread their wings out as a distraction. All this to trick slithering foes to strike at these hollow feathers rather than somewhere else a little more vital. Apart from a snake-filled diet, secretary birds are not picky. They'll eat just about anything that crawls past them, completely whole. Rodents, lizards, rabbits, you name it. Because their leg movements are so quick and powerful, scientists have been studying them to help design fast-moving robot limbs and prosthetics. You're probably wondering why it's called a secretary bird. There are a couple of theories. Its scientific name is Sagittarius serpentarius. Come again? Sagittarius is Greek for archer, and Serpentarius highlights their skill at hunting snakes. Archer of snakes, if you will. Another is their head crest feathers resembling how a 19th century lawyer's clerk would place a feather quill in their hair in the midst of writing. Monogamous, they'll do a courtship ritual when attracting a mate. The two lovebirds will take flight for a unique mid-air display, or a dance-like routine on the ground. Who said romance is dead? They'll make a nest at the top of isolated, thorny trees like the acacia. They'll reuse the nest, making it larger every year. It's here both parents will be part of the incubation period for their two to three eggs before taking on feeding duties once they're hatched. If this hasn't kicked your fix for bizarre birds, you have to check out our episode on the shoebill's equally strange traits. Kicking snakes and stomping prey is what secretary birds do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.